and would be able to, uh, they laughed a lot at June and I. We weren't very athletic. athletic. <laughs> yeah, especially. He tried to teach me how to play ball, but I would keep closing my eyes when the ball. Every time he said, <laughs> 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 he, yeah, but he was very patient. <laughs> he was a great dad, great neighbor, and a great friend of my parents. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to catch a ball with your eyes closed. Yeah. <laughs> and your hands up like this. And he's like, Rachel! <laughs> well, I'm so going to go next, because I, okay. I know him. <laughs> and I just want to say, first off, our family has shrunk a lot. And the ones we have left are scattered. And I wanted to have this luncheon because I just couldn't go home after burying my dad and be alone. Mm -hmm. And I wanted my friends around me, my church family, my friends that I love so much, all of you. <coughs> and um, as far as my dad goes, as Rachel said, he, he did a lot with us. He tried to turn us into athletes, which was not to be. <laughs> uh, especially Rachel, who may have killed herself any time she tried. Um, he was a hard worker. My father worked two full-time jobs for a big part of his life. And uh, he had a, a work ethic that I can't remember him ever staying home sick. He'd be sick and we'd be begging him off he'd go to the gas company. He was a wonderful grandfather to my niece, to my son, a good father to my sisters and I, and a good husband to my mom. Mm. He liked to fish. He, him and my son would often go fishing, but we never had to worry about cleaning fish because they never caught it. Richard <laughs> <laughs> started going with them, and they still didn't catch it. <laughs> and of course, Rachel and I, we were just like, ew, worms. <laughs> But he still liked, and bowling, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. He was on bowling leagues up until his shoulders gave out. And my mother used to say, on bowling night, if she died, he'd say, oh well, she'll still be dead when I get home. <laughs> 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 I don't think you have really done that. <laughs> <laughs> and the gentleman over here, Two of them, one who was Betty's brother, Betty Thompson's brother, Bill. And they were part club. of Dad's breakfast group that he went to called the Romeos, which was retired old men eating out. That's good. Ron's got right that there. They were from Baraka, right? Yes. They were from Baraka. And Bill over here is one of the ones left from the Pinochle crowd. Wow. And my father looked forward to every Thursday he'd call and say, now Bill can tell you that my father's house was not a show place, but he would call and say to me, okay, well, I'm party ready. They're coming to the parts. <laughs> and it was Bill and Dad and, and, and two other guys that did that. So He used to go to THF too with breakfast. Yes. Is that the trucker's breakfast? Yeah. Yes, he, he enjoyed the trucker's breakfast. My my uh, brother-in-law drove a truck at that time, and um, so anyway, the bottom line is, I love my dad. Go to miss him a lot, and I thank every one of you for being here because I don't know what I would do if he's were all here. <laughs> thank you. We heard so much about her. Okay. Mm -hmm. The very first day that I came to, um, to work with Mr. Wyatt. Oh. And then I just remember him saying, and June saying that, you know, anything in the house you want, you know, you can have and sit and have breakfast with him. And I just, Mr. Wyatt was just always kind to me. And, you know, even to Joshua, he didn't get the chance to miss, meet Joshua, but he was always, you know, take that for Joshua. You know, he, he would always just encourage me and all of that stuff. And, you know, I really, I, as I was telling his niece right now, um, although it was only 20 hours a week with Mr. White, I would not have left. You know, and I told the office, whatever you do, just. You know, my schedule is after Mr. Wyatt. And this is oh. and work after Mr. Wyatt, you know, I would not have left him. And, you know, he's going to be missed. And, you know, I just 
remember some of the things that he would use, you know, he would say it's just in my head, but I can't really think of it right now. But one thing I know, in the mornings when I would come, he would always look at his watch. <laughs> he would always look at his watch, you know, and I was like, I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> he was sleeping, you know, and he would get up, he would look at his watch, and he, but he wouldn't know what time I came, if I came late or not, but <laughs> he would always look at his watch, you know, but um, it was a really a pleasure working with Mr. White, and, you know, I thank God that I was able to make it, because mm -hmm. I do know the circumstances that I, I wouldn't have made it yesterday, you know, but... Right. God just did something else, and <laughs> it's mm -hmm. today, and I'm here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Mr. White is gonna be a mess, and I, you know, I just thank God for being there to be able to we assist thank God him. For you. Yeah. Yeah. Bernice? So about 10 minutes later this morning, and I think, she's going to think I'm asking. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, Dad, I don't care what time she got, because she would stay later. She... No, he was a very honest man, too. He was, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, he, he could not tell a lie for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he could not lie for anything. <laughs> I admire that about him, you know. He, you know, he would, he wouldn't even tweak it. <laughs> he would not try to tell a lie. You know? But I, I will say about Marcia, the day I met her, I talked to her for about ten minutes and said, "You're a Christian, aren't you?" And she said, "Yes." It was that obvious. Mm -hmm. And when she was with my dad, I had no worries. Mm -hmm. Had worries the rest of the time. <laughs> He, he liked Marcia so much that if she had to take a day off and Holy Redeemer would say, do you want a substitute? And then they'd say, guess not, right? No. <laughs> he won't have anybody else. And when he was in the hospital and the rehab, he, he'd like, I hope Marcia's getting work and I hope she comes back when I'm home. Mm. You worried about it. So. <laughs> we love you, Marcia. <laughs> I, knew, I know Gordon, and I first met Gordon at the Thanksgiving feast when we used to have them here at the church, right. <clears throat> and I lost track of him when they stopped doing it, and <clears throat> until, well, June used to keep us up to date on stories about what was happening with her dad and so on, and uh, I lost track all those years until he got sick this last time. And in visiting Richard at St. Joe's, mm -hmm. um, her dad was there also. Mm -hmm. And so Richard had to go to rehab. And to kill time, we went down to see dad. <laughs> <laughs> Which was good, mm -hmm. because um, he was laying there, but he was very alert, good spirits, cheerful. We were talking stock market because he had the TV on. <laughs> and out of the clear blue sky, he said to me, how are your eyes? I thought, how does he know about my eyes? <laughs> he I always figured, asked about them because I told him. Uh, yeah, I figured June had macular degeneration. <clears throat> so we, we talked. And um, we just had a good visit. And because of all that's, that's happened, I was glad I had that last opportunity yes. yeah. to spend that time with your dad. We, we he was a good, jolly man, people. good heart, and uh, I liked him. Thank you. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> As June had said, when myself and some other guys played Pino, before that we went to the to the breakfast with the transport for Christ. Well, afterwards, a lot of times, we would play checkers, chess, and all that, and he would take us on, and we didn't fare too well. <laughs> but we smiled. And when we played pinochle, it was fun, because he had the uh, the privilege of having, having a, a gentleman by the name of Howard Brooks for his partner. And I always envied Howard, because he had him, because Howard was a difficult partner. <laughs> 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 
So I always, I mean, we used to have a lot of fun with him. And we used to get down to the home also and play down at the home because one of the players was it, ended up at the prize at the home. So we would get down there and play down there. So it was a lot of fun. We enjoyed each other's company and we laughed a lot. I mean, we didn't very good, but we laughed a lot. A good time. That's all about. So, and, and that's like you said, that's what it was all about. And, and we just enjoyed each other's company. And then later on, I would call him on the phone and he'd say, Nice to hear from you. I'd say, yeah. Okay. And, and we would talk and just laugh. And we just had a good time. And he was just a, a happy person. He was very fortunate. He had this young lady here. I won't even talk about the other guy beside her. <laughs> he was a very gracious gentleman. And I appreciated knowing him. Thank you. Uh, you not believe you wrote it, all that stuff down, but it, man, was that complicated. <laughs> we tried it a couple times, it didn't work out, so I taught him a game, rummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so and well, that, right after that, we played that right up until he went to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Three of us would play rummy once a week. Uh, 500 rummy. 500 rummy. Hundreds and hundreds of games. <laughs> wow. So, we, we enjoyed that. We could have every week. We June would um, bring a dinner down. We'd, we'd have a dinner there. Uh, we'd eat, uh, and then we'd play rummy. Sometimes we'd play water out. And, but it, it was good. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. There was a time when he, we first started, he must have won 10 straight games. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen such luck. <laughs> we started telling him we're going to find some new partners. This isn't fun anymore. <laughs> and I never wore a tie, Bill. Never wore a tie. Never wore a tie. He's <laughs> always <laughs> so asked me about wearing a tie. Uh -oh. <laughs> Yeah, he, he loved to play it. And if we went down there for any reason at all, he'd always say, you got time to play cards? <laughs> uh, we always had time to play cards. I mean, I took him with me every trip down there. Dude, so. Don't forget the dog. The His dog Nikki. was always up on your lap when you, we were down there. Mm -hmm. His little Yorkie Nikki, Aww. and she's she's with him. We put her ashes with him. Aww. She was up on the mantelpiece, and I, I asked... Uh, the funeral director, if we could put her in there with him, and she said sure. So he took Nikki. <laughs> he loved that little scrunchy dog. <laughs> well, she was a little rag mop. <laughs> Pulled me aside and said, "You know, I told her that she didn't like the look of the Thirty Spring Station." <laughs> <laughs> and I said, um, I said, we we'll take you down south. I said, I'll take you out of the swamp someplace. Meet you out in the swamp. <laughs> the gators. <laughs> oh, my. Wow. He never, he never would hesitate to tell you his mind. Mm -hmm. We asked him a question. He'd be ready for the answer. <laughs> that was it. He was there in five minutes. You know, I have a lot of little things like that. But he, uh, he wound up there. He was great.